1987 Constitution, Article 1, National Territory. So, this is a Read With Me series. Kung ikaw ay masyado ng maraming nabasa or wala pang nababasa and you just want a quick uh, read, then please join me. National Territory of the Philippines comprises the, number one, the Philippine Archipelago with all the islands and waters embraced therein, and number two, all other territories over which the Philippines has sovereignty or jurisdiction, consisting of its terrestrial, fluvial, and aerial domains, including its territorial sea, the seabed, the subsoil, the insular shelves, and other submarine areas. The waters around, between, and connecting the islands of the archipelago, regardless of their breadth and dimensions, form part of the internal waters of the Philippines. So what is the component of the national territory? Take note that there is that terrestrial or the land territory, and then you have the fluvial or the maritime territory, and last is you have the aerial or the air territory. So, ang pagbabasa ng Article 1 about national territory, you have to connect it to your public international law. So, as far as land territory is concerned, recall the modes of acquisition, that is discovery and occupation, prescription, cession by treaty, the conquest, and accretion. Hindi naman ito masyadong lumalabas sa bar exams. Next, for your fluvial maritime territory, this is a bar coverage. Makikita nyo to nakalista to sa 2020-2021 bar exam coverage for the public international law. The law of the sea. You have to study baseline the archipelagic states internal waters, the territorial sea that is your 12 nautical miles, contiguous zone that is your 24 nautical miles, and then your exclusive economic zone that is the 200 content, continental shelf and then the it loss. Palagi tong tinatanong sa bar exams, malimit kaya please study especially if you are going to take the bar exams. Then also recall your high seas. How about for your aerial or air territory? Then your outer space, yung high seas and outer space, they are res communes. And speaking of fluvial or maritime territory, you relate this to Article 12 that is the National Economy and Patrimony, particularly Section 2. Ano ba ang sinasabi ng Section 2? The state shall protect the nation's marine wealth in its archipelagic waters, territorial sea, and exclusive economic zone and reserve its use and enjoyment exclusively to Filipino citizens. Take note of this kasi ito ay tinanong na sa bar exams. The bar exam I am referring to is the one asked in 1994, number 11, in the desire to improve the fishing methods of the fishermen, the Bureau of Fisheries, with the approval of the President, entered into a MOA to allow the Thai fishermen to fish within 200 miles from the Philippine Sea coast on the condition that the Filipino fishermen be allowed to use also the Thai fishing equipment and vessels and to learn modern technology in fishing and canning. Question, is the agreement valid? Answer is definitely no because it will violate Section 2 of your Article 12. Again, the President cannot authorize the Bureau of Fisheries to enter into a MOA allowing the Thai fishermen to fish within the exclusive economic zone of the Philippines because Section 2 is a mandate. It is a mandate that the um, use and enjoyment of the exclusive economic zone of the Philippines is reserved to Filipino citizens. So going back to national territory, again, the national territory comprises the Philippine archipelago and all other territories over which the Philippines has sovereignty or jurisdiction. And speaking of the jurisdiction of the Philippines, relate this again to your public international law. Kasama ito sa coverage. Nakasulat yan doon. The jurisdiction of the state. What is the basis of the jurisdiction? The territoriality principle. Ito yung nasa criminal law. 
And then you have the nationality principle and statelessness. Ito yung Article 14, 15, 16 of your civil code. And then take note of the protective principle, universality principle, and passive personality principle. Also, the exceptions from jurisdiction, the act of state doctrine, ito yung doctrine of immunity from suit, and the international organizations and their officers, ito yung mga consul, yung mga the World Health Organization, so take note of that. And then, the jurisdiction of the Philippines over land territory, and this one, ito yung mas palaging tinatanong, the jurisdiction over maritime territory. Just take note though of the French rule and the English rule and also this one, jurisdiction of the Philippines in the high seas, the difference between the flag state and flag of convenience and the doctrine of hot pursuit. Recall this one, yung flag state and flag of convenience, tinanong na yan sa bar exams 2004. Bar question, distinguish the flag state and the flag of convenience. So, pag binasa mo ngayon si Article 1 of the 1987, Constitu of the 1987 Constitution, dapat wag madaliin. You recall also the land territory, the maritime territory, and then the aerial territory. Ang palaging tinatanong is the maritime territory because that is where your territorial sea, contiguous zone, exclusive economic zone, continental shelf, archipelagic doctrine yan. Palagi yan silang tinatanong. I did not include here the answers um, on purpose kasi i-discuss natin kung gusto nyo on a separate video. Since this is a read with me series, we will just read the provisions of the Constitution and then relate it to some other subjects para mas madaling maintindihan.